very much, Jean. We're, we're very pleased to welcome a new leadership team from our uh, House uh, uh, Partner Committee uh, today, the House Government and Oversight Committee, uh, House Government Oversight and Reform right. Committee. I, I, I like that name uh, much better than ours, which is the Senate Governmental Affairs Committee, which always seems faintly suggestive uh, to me, <laughs> and uh, maybe not exactly what we're all about. Um, but uh, first, uh, a real honor to call on a, on, a, on a longtime friend and great public servant, the new chairman of the House Committee, uh, Congressman Ed Towns of New York. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Senator Lieberman, and to uh, Senator Collins and all my colleagues here. Um, that I'm delighted to come and talk about um, safety as well as waste, fraud, and abuse. I'm pleased to be here this morning with you, or this afternoon now. I'm pleased to be here with you and the GAO report on programs in federal government which pose the most serious threat for waste, fraud, and abuse, known as the high-risk list. Last week, I gave a speech where I outlined some of my priorities for the Oversight Committee. Procurement and contracting reform will again be on the front burner this year. I plan to reintroduce a bill written last Congress in cooperation with then Senator Obama, now President Obama. This bill would prevent tax delinquent contracting firms from getting new federal contracts. I plan to review the suspension and debarment system to understand how poor performers and fraudulent contractors continue to receive work from the federal government. I will review possible reorganization of government financial regulators so that we are not choosing winners and losers in the marketplace, but providing a framework that clearly defines the rules of the game for all participants and to make certain that it is a level playing field. I also intend to stay active in conversations about health care reform and issues surrounding food safety, FDA reform, and efficiency and accountability in the Medicare and Medicaid system. Of course, these topics again appear in the GAO report being released today. The issues that GAO has identified will be among the highest priorities of the Oversight Committee. We come together here today after President Obama's inauguration. It is an exciting time in Washington. The President has pledged to take a hard look at what works and what does not work in our government. Congress and GAO can be his allies in this task. Another ally is here with me today, Daryl Issa, the ranking member of the Oversight Committee. I am pleased that we have developed such a strong working relationship in the early weeks of this Congress. We share the goals of making government more responsive and more effective, and we will continue to work together with that goal in mind. To that end, we sent a letter this morning to the Defense Secretary, Robert Gates, regarding eight areas in DOD operations that are at a high risk of fraud, waste, and abuse, and mismanagement and seven others for this DOD shares responsibility. More than half of the area GAO has identified involve DOD. Many of these areas have been on the list for almost two decades. The time has come now to begin to move them off. The risk DOD faces cuts across most areas of its operation and include DOD's long-standing inability to deliver its major weapon system acquisition on time and promise cost and capabilities. Modernize its business system, protect critical technologies, and manages its con contracts, its supply chain, it, its property, and its people, among others. With the country facing its most serious financial economic problems, in decades and fighting two wars overseas. We cannot afford for the department to get less than the maximum value from the resources the Congress and the American taxpayer provided. That is why we have asked Secretary Gates 
to meet with us to discuss why the department has not been able to resolve these serious and costly problems and to discuss a concrete plan with specific, specific time frames to implement GAO's recommendations. We'll be asking for similar meetings from other cabinet level officials about projects within their area of responsibility that appears on the high risk list. Through this process, we are making clear Congress's expectations that President Obama's senior officials will give their personal attention to fixing the long-standing and critical problems the GAO has identified. I look forward to working with uh, the Senate side, of course, look forward to working with GAO, GAO and of course, look forward to, to uh, working with my ranking member to bring about some solutions to these problems. Thanks uh, very much, Mr. Chairman. I'm, I'm